Well, aside from the billionaires, the U.S. and China are also in a race to explore outer space. Well, Arjun Karpel joins us with more. Arjun, what is actually taking place here in the battle? Well, Nancy, we've got a new space race on our hands effectively here. Uh, President Xi Jinping has said that he wants China to be a world leader in uh, space by 2045. And certainly just within the last couple of years, we've seen some pretty notable achievements from China in space. They've launched their own satellite navigation system called Beidou. Uh, that's up there now and, and operational. They've also begun construction on their own space station, a rival to the International Space Station most recently, just before the 100-year anniversary of the CCP here. They sent three astronauts up to that space station. President Xi Jinping uh, personally congratulated them via video link as well in the run-up and the excitement to the celebrations here. On top of that, a Mars mission has been launched as well. A rover has landed on the surface of the Red Planet and uh, China said it plans to send uh, astronauts up there sometime in the 2030s and build a Mars base station uh, as well. And the other thing you've seen as well, China's been pretty aggressive on filing patents uh, around space exploration technology now just in the fi last five years is all 90% of all of China's patents related to space technology have been filed and that shows you that they're setting up for the next few decades around space travel as well. Now space is not just a vanity project, it is incredibly important for a couple of reasons. Firstly, uh, it helps to advance some scientific discoveries on Earth, but also it could have military implications on Earth as well. And so that's why you're seeing the US and now China very aggressively pushing in uh, to the space uh, uh, area at the moment. The question is, how will the US and China coordinate with each other? Because NASA recently launched uh, an agreement called the Artemis Accords, signed with a number of uh, countries that sort of lay out how responsible space exploration should go. China did not sign those accords. And so there's questions now about how each other will cooperate in space, how they'll uh, agree and coordinate around things like space debris, space launches, and ex especially what goes on in space as well. And so lots of questions how that plays out, especially as these two continue to push ahead with multiple launches over the coming decades.